Hello and welcome to my LEGO channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build the Star Trek Communicator. So for the base we're going to take these pieces. They are inverted on either side and they have four studs in the center. And we're going to put two of those together and connect them with a black plate. But in one of them you're going to do two 1x4 black plates so that you cover up the back. And then put that on the back. The 2x4, the 1x4s on the back. So you have a solid back. On the front, you need to do some 1 by 2 inverted slopes and connect them and a 2 by 1 together with a 1 by 6 or a 1 by 4 and two 1 by 1s on the side. And then on top of the 1x4 or 1x6 in the middle, do two of these pieces and two more 1x1s like that. And then just match that up to the opening spot and attach a gray plate to it like this. And then in the bottom of the gray plate, attach a black plate. Make sure all the studs are connected like that. And then connect the black plate to the other black plate. So when you're done, you should have this kind of thing. And then here you can do one by uh, two by threes or whatever. I'm doing a one by four, a two by four, and a one by three. So whatever pieces you have, just need to go right there. All right. So that is the base. Um, we'll build the hinge. So take this piece and connect a 2x2 two two to the bottom all the way on the bottom then some corner plates like that on the edges and in the middle do um, these one by two. If you have all, um, if you have four of these, then do a one by one here, a one by one here, and a um, another one here and another one there. I don't, so that's just what I'm doing. Then on top of that, you're gonna do either another one of these or two one by threes. Makes the same shape. So, you should have it like that. On top, do 1x6 plate like that. Then, over here on the underside, do a 1x1 one one clip, unless you did the alternative. So, you should have four clips like that. Then, 1x1s one on the ends. Like that. And then... Just another one by six or one, two one by threes or as I did uh, two one by four and a one by two so that's how it should look and this connects right on to here with these two bottom studs like that so obviously this doesn't match up perfectly here but it has the same type of shape 
All right, so then right here is where the detail is going to be. So right here in this 2x2, two two, one stud away in the center, your turntable. And then you need to do tiles, one thing all the way around. I'm just using 1x3s because it looks cool, kind of, and it works. There you go. But if you don't have 1x3s, then you can just use whatever you have in your collection. And then, let me take a 4x4 light gray plate, a 2x2 two two dark gray satellite dish, and a stud, a dark gray 1x1 one one round stud. Connect it into the back of the satellite dish, and connect the satellite dish into the center of this 4x4 four four and connect it into your turntable like that so you can go in there like that in my video I just used the imperial symbol um, from the Star Wars stuff so but this looks pretty good all right so the next thing we're going to do is right underneath, we're going to do a 2x2 two two jumper plate in the middle, and then 1x2 jumper plates on either side, like that. Then on my, well, if you're holding it like this in your hand, all the way to the right you're going to do a dark blue translucent stud. In the middle you're going to do a dark red. And on the right, or on the left, sorry, you're going to do yellow. Then, underneath, you're going to do some either 2x4 two or 2 2x2s. Two doesn't really matter. And on the one on the left, just do some light gray grates. And on the right, do some 1x2 jumpers, like that. And then I'm doing some 1x1 one one tiles. One by one round tiles. You can do studs if you don't have any tiles though. Alright, so that is pretty much your communicator base. We just need to make the walls and the um, cover. So for the walls, I just took these uh, eights, one by eights, and put them here, right there, and right there like that and then I just tossed random pieces because it didn't really matter so in the middle of the bottom I did three jumper plates just stacked um, obviously I am pretty stupid just realized that I could do like actual bricks so yeah, I'm going to do that, because that's probably something I actually have. Alright, so yeah, guys, if you have bricks, you should use them. Um, it'll make this way easier. Alright, so scratch out this. Um, Find some bricks, some black, regular one in thickness bricks, and plop them on there. So go ahead and search for those. And you could use like the Technic stuff, but it has holes showing, so I wouldn't. But yeah. Alright, so this thing, um, yeah, I'm just using my old tricorder thing. It's pretty ratty now. Anyway, so just put your pieces on.
go. And on this side, I'm just going to do these because I have three. One, two, three. All right. So that's how it should look. So got some bricks here, bricks here, and some plates here. All right. So that's cool. I didn't realize that. All right. So once you have it looking like this, I just grabbed some tiles, one by eight on the sides, one by six on the bottom. And I can get rid of all these junky scrap pieces. All right. So for, um, you could tile this up. I just left it studded because I didn't really care. If you want to, you can tile that up. All right. So the next thing is, we need to do the cover. So I just use this as the base. Um, four by eight, tan. So connect two of these, and they kind of have to be like the one bar, not the, well, they have to look like this. They can't be the, all right. So they can't be this. Can't be this kind. They have to be this. Otherwise, the clips put on earlier won't work. So I just connect those to the bottom of the four by eight. And then in here, do one by sixes. And I'm doing one by sixes here because we need this to be open space. And then a two by four at the top connected on the bottom, flipped around, do a one by four, or like I did, a one by three and a one by one, like that. And then that'll clip on to all your hooks, like that, and there you go. Nice display model, closes right up. Um, it's pretty accurate, we've got the gray line coming through. Um, it's pretty good size um, for your hand, well, depends on how old you are. Um, it's pretty good size for my hand, though. Um, looks pretty good closed. Not amazing, obviously, because we can't do, like, holes in here. Um, open it up. And, um, in here looks pretty good. Um, the bottom is the best part, in my opinion. Uh, the one thing I have seen p someone do, um, is use, uh, the light gray but also use one of the, um, I don't have one handy, but take the swamp speeder and pull this off. So one of these pieces, um, one of the black wheel, Technic axle kind of wheels, um, and the ATTE comes with one of those, but you have to put a sticker on it. And so that looked pretty good. Um, obviously, it's not going to be perfect because LEGO hasn't printed a specific piece, but just this. This is the piece, and from the ATTE, it comes with a sticker, and you can put that on. Um, that does look slightly better than this, though. So if you just pull that off your ATT, if you have it, um, you might want to do that. If you don't, then don't, obviously. But, yeah. So, that's how to build my communicator. Um, hope you guys like the build. Um, my original one could flip open, but, um, it just really did not have the look, um, so I updated it and revised it and made it, um, movie accurate, so, yeah, doesn't flip open or closed, but, well, I can almost get it to close, but, um, pretty much why is because this right here does not have any weight. It's just really, it's really thin. 
the other one was this was not hollow and it was um, a stud thicker on each side so yeah it had some pretty good weight to it um, where this one doesn't really but yeah that's how to build my Star Trek communicator if you like the design give me a like or a thumbs up or whatever and comment other stuff I should do uh, if you are a Star Wars fan this also could be the channel for you I have more Star Wars stuff on it than I have Star Trek so yeah go check that out um yeah that's pretty much it and I guess I'll see you in the end of the next video that you're gonna watch because I'm gonna watch another one so yeah see ya